I'm Chad, an American expat from Miami, Florida, currently living in Bregenz, Austria, on Lake Constance with beautiful views of the Austrian Alps. Subscribe to my channel and let's explore Austria together. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys on a bike ride from Bregenz, Austria to the island of Lindau, Germany on Lake Constance. When we get there, we're going to walk around the island a little bit, check out what there is to do there. And until we get there, just enjoy the views of the lake. All right, we're slowly making our way there. You can see it off in the distance now. That's Lindau, Germany. And this route that we're taking today is a really popular biking route here in Austria. Shortly, we're gonna pass by a sign that shows you how many bikes pass by per day and how many bikes have passed by so far this year. All right, this is the sign I was telling you about. So, so far this year, 245,000 bikers have come by and today alone already a thousand and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning it's pretty crazy how many bikes ride by here every day we'll check it out on the way home see what the number is check out the view from this apartment building let me know in the comments if you guys would live here with this as your view every morning All right, I'd say we're about halfway there. We just crossed the border into Germany. I'm gonna keep on going. All right, guys, we made it. This is the bridge entering onto the island of Lindau. Some view of the mountains in the back. It's still a little misty this morning. And we came from somewhere back over there. All right, I don't know if you can see on my Garmin, but it was almost exactly 10 kilometers from Bregenz to Lindau. We just locked up our bikes. Let's go explore the island. So something I didn't tell you guys yet is my nephew is visiting from America, Blaze. Say hi, Blaze. Hi. He's going to be spending the whole summer with us. We're going to take him on all sorts of adventures around Austria and Europe. The first thing you're going to notice while we're making our way down to the lake is this huge tower right here. It's called the Mangturm. It used to be the original lighthouse for Lindau, but they replaced it later on with a newer lighthouse. I'll show it to you in a second. But nowadays they just use it for storytelling. If you look, you can see Rapunzel's hair hanging from the tower and they do stories on the weekends for the kids. And then right behind it, you can kind of see the new lighthouse. We're gonna make our way that way right now. And here is the entrance to the port of Lindau. It's guarded by a huge lion statue that was donated to this island by Bavaria, Germany. It's the symbol of Bavaria, which is where we are. And that's the lighthouse that replaced the old one. I think it was built in the 1800s and the other one was built sometime in like year 1000. All right, we just made our way over to the lighthouse. I think you can go up it. It costs maybe like six euros per person, but it doesn't look like it's open today. So instead I'm gonna fly the drone around it a little bit. going into the city you can come walk around on the trail that's on the outside of the city along the lake and there's some really cool little pop-up bars and restaurants that you can have a nice view of the lake while you're having a cocktail or eating just found this cool little pop-up bar they do fresh juices healthy juices Andrea's gonna order one right now she's gonna try the sea berry it's with seasonal berries apples lemons and I have no clue what Melisse is gonna have to ask Andrea for a translation. While Andrea is getting her juice, we're gonna come hang out in the bean bags. Andrea just got the drink and I found out Melise is like mint and it's not a bad view for a little pause while we before we head into the city. Okay, cheers, we're gonna try it out. It's really good. I taste berries, I can taste the mint and lemon, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really good. Let's pass it around, let everybody have a taste. Blaze? Blaze? Mm -hmm. Here you go. It's good. It's good, huh? It's good? You like it? Yeah. All right, now we're heading back into the city. We're gonna take you guys to an old medieval jail. Uh, one of my favorite churches that I've seen so far here in Europe. 
It's quite surprising how beautiful it is on the inside. Then we're gonna walk around the little streets of Lindau, stop for an ice cream, and just see what else there is to do here. As we make our way into the town, you start to see all the colorful little buildings and they even have the old style signs above the door back from the days where people couldn't read. So it has a picture of a teapot, you knew it was a tea store, a fish, it's a fishing store and so on. This is the medieval jail yeah. I was telling you about. We'll take a walk up there and have a closer look at it. All right, right behind me is a sign that tells us about this tower. In the 1350s, it was the original lookout tower that was along the old medieval wall of the city. And at that time, it was also used as a jail for the city here. All right, next attached to the tower that we just saw is a church, St. Peter's Church. It was built in the year 1000. We're gonna head inside and see the original paintings that are still on the walls today. As we're making our way to my favorite church, we're walking down a street called In der Grube, and it's home to all of the really good restaurants here on the island. And Andre and mine's favorite restaurant, which is an Indian restaurant. The food is so good. We are unfortunately not going there today, but we're gonna walk by it. Yeah, in my opinion, here's the best restaurant on the whole island, Kahana Kazana. It's the Indian food, it's so delicious. We're gonna come back one night, I'll have to make a video of it. If you have a little more money to spend, the restaurant right behind me is a Michelin star restaurant. And you know what that means, the prices are really high, but I'm sure the food's delicious. I've never been there. All right, here we are at my favorite church. There's actually two churches right next to each other. One of them is really plain Jane on the inside, and then the other one reminds me of a church that you would see in Italy with all the frescoes. I'll take you in both of them so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the church that I call the Plain Jane one because in comparison to the other one, it can't compete. You'll see what I mean in a second. All right, here we go. Now you're gonna enter this church that I think is a lot prettier, a lot more ornate. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of that church. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I wasn't expecting it the first time I walked in there to see such an ornate church on this little island. Quick change of plans. We just found the sister restaurant to our favorite restaurant. People say it's really good. So we're gonna have lunch real quick and try it out. This is the inside of the restaurant. It's a really cool atmosphere. They have a really nice fish tank. Unfortunately, there was no more seats outside, so we have to sit inside. <laughs> All right, we got lucky. Some people just left, so we switched our seat to be outside. <laughs> our food just got here. This is called a doza. It's a crepe filled with chicken curry. And behind it, we have a coconut curry, a vegetable curry, and a tomato curry to dip it in. It looks really delicious. So the waiter recommended that we cut it in half and eat it with our hands like a burrito. Show you the inside, what it looks like. Ah. I'm losing some of it. There's the inside, it's got lentils, chicken, curry, vegetables. I just lost a big piece of it. Mm. Really good, the curry is really good. Pasta is fine, Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Mm. Mine is a bit spicy too. Try vegetable curry sauce. Mm. Mm. Or Blaise, are you losing something? <laughs> the crepe is really crispy and crunchy on the outside, and the filling is really good. A little spicy chicken curry with the lentils. I would definitely order this again. 
It's a little hard to eat though, huh? Yeah. How is it? Good? Okay, we just finished up lunch. It was really delicious. Now we got to walk it off. We're heading on to the main strip here in Lindau that's full of little shops, cafes, and a really important building on the island, the city council building, the city hall building. Are they cute? He pulls it off, it looks kind of cool on there. A hat beanie? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head into this shop called the Kuhstall. Kuhstall. Show you guys what a little shop looks like here. It has some traditional Austrian or German souvenirs. Like the famous cowbells. This is all made out of real fur. Real cow. I like these. They're like little stools. They look like little sheep. All right, in German, this is called the Rathaus, Altes Rathaus, the old city hall building. It has some really nice paintings on it. It's definitely worth checking out if you're here on the island. I think you can even go inside and there's a really old library to explore, but we're not going to go in today. Our last stop on the island today is Royal Donuts. We just grabbed a couple for our snack later. It's a really cool store and the donuts look delicious. Okay. We made it back to our bikes. That's going to do it for our trip in Lindau today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. Thank you. Auf Wiedersehen.